Oh, what a beautiful winter scene we find ourselves in. Fresh fall and snow, Christmas decorations. I just love this time of the year. But you know, there's one other thing that seems to be missing. That's a nice big snowman. Now, when you make a snowman, you need the right amount of water content in the snow so it compacts well and it holds its shape. When the temperature's sitting around that freezing mark, it's really perfect because it holds enough water so you can make a nice compact snowball or a snowman. If the temperature is much colder, you get a drier and a fluffier snowfall. It's great for skiing, but not very good for snowman making. Now I always start with a nice big snowball like this. And boy, you're lucky you don't have to pick this one up because snow can be very heavy. In some cases, a cubic foot of snow can weigh as much as 20 pounds. That means this snowball base here can weigh up to 100 pounds. Now my middle snowball is usually not quite as big, but it's compacted tightly, and then a smaller third snowball. I like to use the three to one ratio here when I'm building a snowman. It makes for a very stable snowman so it doesn't fall over and it's nice and symmetric. Now let's get to the fun part here. Let's bring in some coal for its eyes, a carrot for its nose and that corn cob pipe and a couple of twigs for its arms. What a classic looking snowman. Whoa, what's that? That's the magic top hat. Look at it. Hello, Tom. Wow. Hey there, Mr. Snowman. That's the magic of Christmas. From all of us here at the Weather Channel, we wish you a magical holiday season. Happy holidays! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas!